I wanted to work in real estate development when I was in college. Um, I've actually wanted to work in some version of real estate since I was five, which is super weird for a kid to <laughs> grow up wanting to do. My name is Elise Rudy. I am the Senior Director of Marketing Strategy and Digital Performance, and I have been at Kettler for almost three years. My older cousin was an architect, and I thought that she was like the coolest person in the world. And so I wanted to be an architect. And then I went to architecture camp in high school and I hated it. And I was like, okay, this is not for me. By the time I graduated college, I'd actually interned at a real estate development firm out in Las Vegas, Nevada. Um, and so when I was actually graduating, I already knew that that's what I wanted to do. Um, I actually had started out as an operations intern at the beginning of the summer. Um, and there was this wonderful marketing director, Amber Ammons, who's still in the industry, uh, who every day would just give me small projects. And honestly, we would have so much fun that by the end of the summer, I was a marketing intern. And in that summer is kind of when I decided like, this is what I want to do. As the Senior Director of Marketing Strategy and Digital Performance, I currently oversee a team of four. So I have three wonderfully talented marketing managers, um, and I also have a Director of Consumer Engagement. Um, and that's something we're really excited about. Not many marketing departments in real estate right now have a whole person dedicated just to their customer. And that's something that we're building out and is, is new to us even this year. The foundation behind my team and the work that we do uh, definitely has to be data and analytics. Uh, we use numbers in everything that we do. Um, we're really proud of the reporting structures that we've built out, and we think that that's what elevates the Kettler marketing department. When I got to Kettler as a marketing manager, I had always been used to, I mean, just kind of working in a silo, right? Um, and so. When you start thinking about your career development and what's that next step? Well, as a marketing manager, the next step that's in front of you is always director of property marketing. But when I got here, I never really felt like the job that was actually gonna be for me. I had not pictured myself, frankly, as, as a team leader up until that point in time. Um, and I'm not sure what about it it was, but it was just something that I had never really pictured for myself. But as I moved from the marketing manager role into the digital performance role and multi-platform marketing, so you know during this I'm taking on less communities but more of that digital, um, the digital strategy, which the marketing managers rely upon, right? And so all of a sudden I was moving into this resource role without even realizing it, and it was at that moment kind of that I realized, oh wait, like I. I really enjoy actually working with other team members and I enjoy working, feeling like me and more than one other person are working towards accomplishing something or figuring something out. And that moment when you spend like three hours in the conference room and you finally have the breakthrough and you know like what the next step is gonna be and you worked on that together, that's really exciting. Um, so I think really just kind of moving into this support role, honestly, is what got me ready to say, you know what, I do wanna lead a team. Coming from that spot of having not previously seen myself maybe as, as a people leader, right? But then through my growth at Kettler, becoming that resource and now being in that role and having a, a deep passion for it, honestly. My goal is how can I grow my team, right? Because what I started with at Kettler versus where I'm at now, I didn't, I didn't see it coming. Um, and that's kind of the exciting part, but I wanna figure out what all, what is that for each person on my team? So do you have a passion? Is there a better way to optimize your role so you can work on projects that excite you um, and contain value, right? And luckily, because we're at Kettler, I know upfront that they're gonna have the ability to do that. And so for me, it's how can I make sure that each person on my team is satisfied at the end of the day and also excited about what they're working on? They're all really experienced and intelligent and curious um, and just go above and beyond anything I could ever ask or expect of them. And so that makes my life really easy. My experience at Keller has been filled with opportunity, honestly. Um, opportunity for myself, but also for those around me, uh, which is a really exciting culture to be a part of, right? Um, we're not super structured. There's a lot of fluidity and I think that's been really fun. Different opportunities that I've had at Kettler are ones that I'll say I've earned in the more traditional way um, and other ones are ones that I asked for. So sometimes you kind of see an opportunity and you know that you can provide value and it's about not being afraid to go to leadership and to tell them, hey, this is what I noticed and this is what I think I can do. If you see something, go for it. Don't be afraid. The worst thing that's going to happen is that you're going to get a no. But if you don't go for it, you already gotta know, right? 
Arguably more importantly, and this is where I can be kind of corny, is the relationships, right? Um, I truly think that I have relationships from Kettler that are going to last me a lifetime. Um, and not everyone can always say that. And so I feel truly grateful about that.